Welcome back to another episode of Sweet and Savory Barbecue. Today we are going to talk a barbecue side and what goes better with barbecue than some good old baked beans. We're going to doctor these up a little bit. We went to Myron Mixon's restaurant in Alexandria, Virginia not long ago and they had a peach barbecue bean and it was out of this world. So we brought it home and decided to put our own little twist on it, mix it with our recipe that we already had and you know it's phenomenal. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with one 55 ounce can of Bush's Original Baked Beans. If you have a baked bean recipe that you like, you can go ahead and do this here and use it. I like the Bush's, makes it look easy. Make sure you get them all in there. Spread them on out. Next, we got peach pie filling. This is a 21, 21 ounce jar. We're going to dump the whole thing in there. that going and give it a nice little mix in there and we're not done yet a little bit of yellow mustard I would say about a tablespoon or so give or take looks good to me followed by about a half a cup of our original barbecue sauce use whatever sauce you like here That'll give it that barbecue flavor. And then to top it all off, about a tablespoon of rub. Again, whatever rub you like, use that here. We're using our original rub. And we're just going to mix that on up. It's going to take about three hours. Um, really, the temperature really varies depending on what else you're cooking. If you're just cooking these, I'll cook them at about 300. We've got some ribs and some chicken out on there today. We're cooking at about 250. So we're gonna go ahead and put these on at 250. They'll be just fine. They'll get a little bit of smoke in them. About halfway through, we'll cover them on up and just let them cook away and let all those flavors melt together. First, we're gonna start by filling our charcoal shoot up using Royal Oak briquettes. Load them up from the top. That way they burn down nice and clean and we'll start our fire from the bottom. For this cook, we're using a propane torch to light our fire. It normally takes about three minutes until I'm ready to close the door and let the barbecue guru take over. All right, we're rolling about 250. Like I said, you can do this at any temperature. Whatever you're already cooking at is fine. We'll check them about an hour and a half and give them a wrap and let them finish cooking out. All right, our beans have been on about an hour and a half. We're going to get them wrapped up. Try not to spill them all over the place. The door closed for the minutes of doing this. Let's seal them up. All right, throw them back on there. They'll be done in about another hour, 15, hour and a half or so. So we got our beans unwrapped and off the smoker. And now we're gonna give them just a little stir and mix them on up. You see how it's all blended together with the peaches, the barbecue sauce, and the rub. And now, I know it's gonna be hot, but I can't wait. I'm gonna eat some anyway. Probably gonna burn my mouth up. They are hot. But it's hard to beat that. Especially if you like a sweet baked bean. These are phenomenal. Again, we started with a can, a big can, 55 ounces of Bush's Original Baked Beans. Added our peach pie filling, 21 ounce can. A little bit of rub, mustard, about a half a cup of barbecue sauce in there. Mixed it all up, an hour and a half on the smoker, uncovered, then we covered it up tight with aluminum foil and let them finish cooking. Once they were come off, we just pull them right on off and they're ready to eat. You don't have to let them rest or anything like that other than just to cool down a little bit. But other than that, they're as simple as it gets and will go along great with anything you throw on, throw on the grill. Thank you for checking us out here at Sweet and Savory Barbecue. If you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe on the channel and the videos. And check us out on all our other social media outlets, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Again, thank you all for watching and have a good day.